What's up guys? It's Xerox 11. I just said that with a big smile on my face. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, so as you can tell I'm playing some Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm throwing a grenade in there. Boom, baby. First blood. How did I know he was gonna be there? It's like I've played this game a million times. And I have. Anyways, uh, giving you a break from Dead Island, uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that yet. I really don't. Um, I know that you guys kind of came over here uh, looking for some Call of Duty videos. Uh, you're kind of expecting it. You want that multiplayer. It's like crack. You need it. You, you fiend for it. So, um, I'm not going to take that away from you. I will be your dealer. I got to stop with the drug references. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so I was going to do that, and also I wanted to uh, kind of do some uh, spring cleaning, if you will. I have some, uh, some. Uh, I had this file in my file share from the 360, so I was like, let's get this out of here. Let's get the Black Ops done, over with, and kaput until Modern Warfare 3 comes out. I also wanted to talk about Modern Warfare 3 today with you. I have a, I have a little speck of info that you may or may not know, and I was like, I'm going to share it, just in case if they don't know and give my opinion to it. Not that my opinion matters, but I figured, eh, what the hell? What the hell? I'll, I'll share my opinion with these guys and see what they think, you know? Because I like hearing your guys' opinions, and I think that's really what matters the most. And that's what keeps my channel kind of uh, up and going. Like, honestly, I just, I, I feed off of your opinions. I do. So uh, let's get into it. Let's get into that Modern Warfare 3 info that I have for you. Uh, basically, uh, what Infinity Ward is doing. Yeah, Robert Bowling, I'm talking about you. Actually, I don't think he does anything with them. I think he's like a, a representative, and he basically just talks about the game. Like, I don't think he has really any big input into it. I don't know if that's true or not. That's what I hear. So, I don't know. I don't know. Could be wrong. Maybe, maybe he makes the game by himself. He's up to all hours in the night just making the game. That poor Robert Bowling. I have no idea. So, um, basically what they're doing is they're taking out uh, killstreaks, kind of. They're not taking them out, but they're calling them something different. And I don't know if they're called uh, chain streaks or streak chains or something, but what I do know is that there's three groups of these things, and it gets pretty complex, kind of. Kind of complex. I shouldn't say super complex, but they're, they're kind of complex. Uh, the one group is called Assault, and basically that's just like having killstreaks. And uh, that's your stuff like recon planes. Uh, there, I think Predator missiles are back, AC-130, Pavlo. Uh, I think the AC-130 and the Pavlo are both 12 killstreaks, which I think is probably a good idea. That way you can't like overpower your your streak of chains, of s streak chains, or chain streaks, or whatever you want to call them. And... Um, yeah, so that's that's basically your, your everyday average kill streak, and then they have support, which this makes things a little bit different. They reward you now for being objective, being a team player, which I like. It doesn't fit my bill. No, it does not. I am a I'm a kill whoring machine. That's what I do. I am a slaying beast. I slay dragons sometimes in Call of Duty. I'm gonna have to show you that video where I kill a dragon. I didn't even know dragons existed, but they do on this game. I'm making all this up and now I'm rambling. See what see what I did there? Just rambled. So um yeah. So basically uh those are kind of like they're like kill streaks. Like you call them in after you do something objectively like twice. I don't know if that's like, you know, uh get a payback kill on a on an enemy or capture this many flags or whatever. Um I don't know. I don't know what that entails. We'll find out. But um, I like the idea. I do. I like the idea of giving um, giving back to that objective player. And uh, it also may help eliminate camping. Because if you're running that, you're going to want to run around and get objectives and do this and do that. I like that. I do. But I guess those campers that want to camp would probably just run assault. like Because that's basically your generic everyday kill streak. So... I don't know. I don't think camping is going to be eliminated, as exciting as that would be. Uh, and then the last group is called, I, I really don't know, but to keep my trademark alive, we're going to call it poop, because I haven't said that uh, in this that word in this commentary yet, so there you go. Keep my trademark, keep my trademark going. 
I, <laughs> I did it. I did it. Look at me, Ma. No hands. No freaking hands. Uh, so basically what this is, is uh, the one, this is the one that I really don't like, so I'm kind of glad that I did call it poop, because it is. Um, I don't know if it's, I, I believe it's kills. If you get a certain number of kills, you get an extra perk. You get an extra perk. I don't know how I feel about that. And uh, one of the perks that I should mention is also, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but um, basically if you get two assists, you get a kill. They count it as a kill. Not a big fan of that, but maybe I am. I don't know. I've had some games where I was like, oh man, you know, if they counted all these assists as kills, you know, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I made that noise, but uh, I don't know. I thought that to myself, and now with a with a perk like that, I got something popping up on screen. Go away. Doing things. Doing things. Now my commentary is all freezing up. I don't even know where we are now. now I'm gonna be. I'm going to be all discombobulated. Great. Well, when the last kill comes, and you'll know when the last kill is because it's the last freaking kill. JD2020, fix your shit. Because I shot that guy. So, I'll keep the video up, but I don't know if we're in the same spot now. See, this is what I was afraid of. Something popping up on my screen and completely messing me up. And I was on, I was on quite the tangent of tangenting. So, yeah. So, that's that. I don't know how I feel about that, though, guys. I really don't. The one good thing that I will say is that, uh, have you ever been in the position where you just called in that chopper gunner and you were like, man, I worked my ass off for that chopper gunner. All right, I'm going to get inside and get 50 kills. And then you're a shot down within five seconds of getting it. And you shut off your system because you were so pissed. I don't think I've ever shut off my system because I was so pissed. Um... After getting a chopper gunner, especially. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know. I guess that's a good way, a good thing that you could run. You could just run the perks, you know. If people are going to keep shooting down your helicopter, what's the point of even having kill streaks? Just have extra perks. When you're running six perks and you're versing somebody that has three, it makes things a little bit easier. I shouldn't even say a little bit easier. A lot a bit, a lot a bit easier. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just don't. But what I do know is that um, the game kind of looks like Modern Warfare 2, which a lot of people are complaining about. And um, I don't know. I, when I first played Modern Warfare 2, I was I was a pretty big fan of like how it looked, you know. But everybody's like, "Oh, Battlefield looks so good," and I'm like, "Yeah, it looks good. It does. Mod Battlefield 3, yeah, it looks really good. It does. I mean, Modern Warfare 2. I mean, it, or Modern Warfare 3. It doesn't look like it's gonna, you know, have Battlefield graphics, but um." I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Don't hate. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2, obviously, it, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is kind of looking like that, and uh, the graphics are kind of dated, but um, I don't know. And this is the part, and I don't know if you just seen it, because mine was laggy as all shite, uh, where I take that death. I don't know if you guys already went through it or you're behind me now because it was so laggy, but uh, yeah. Getting ripped off, JD2020. Not a big fan. I don't know why you can't shoot through a wooden window, buddy. So uh, that's pretty much it. I did want to mention that uh, Dead Island, I will be posting. I know that you guys want to see this um, kind of like Call of Duty. I know that's what you came here for. I do want to do some Dead Island because I know some people like it. And... Um, I think what I'm going to do is just show you the most interesting missions uh, from here on out. Um, I'm not going to go in through the big details of the game and this and that. Um, I'll post like probably a few more videos of that and just try to give you the best of what's happening and uh, kind of take it from there. So, uh, Anyways, uh, thanks for listening, guys, and uh, I'm going to peace on out. Oh, and uh, I want to get some COD 4 up. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but uh, I haven't posted a COD 4 on this channel, and I feel like I should. So, look forward to that. Uh, besides that, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.